10 crosswalk buttons approximately here in St. John's are being changed from automatic back into manual. That is no good for persons with disabilities, the elderly or children, because it makes things unsafe for the reason that a lot of times people cannot reach the buttons. Physically, I'm not able to straighten my arm. I'm not able to straighten my arm because of my disability. Because that's as far as I can reach. Like, I can't, I'd have to take my body and because I can't reach. For me, during the pandemic, with all the lights being automatic, it was so much easier to get around. I didn't feel like I can't go down to this part of town today because of the, because of the crosswalk, because I cannot get across the road in time for the lights to change. But when it's automatic, I, it was the same thing as just walking down a normal sidewalk. With the push buttons, there's been a few times, more than a few times actually, that I've almost got ran over because by the time I push the button and get across the road, the light would be after changing back. It causes a person to have a lot of anxiety knowing that they might get hit by a car. Causes a person to have fear of going outside. Causes a person to have fear of the trauma of knowing that how many close calls there are in this city. From what I've been told, the city says that the lights are being changed back because it was delaying the metro bus from operating on a regular route. If the bus needs to be a little bit behind schedule, maybe they need to change their schedules. Maybe they need to ch change the length of time as they have estimated how long it takes to get places. Because it's better to be alive than what it is to be there in a hurry. So we need to think about more than just the people who are able to use the buttons with ease. We need to think about more than just the drivers or a metro bus. We need to think about everybody and what they're able to do. Make it equal for everybody.